If you're thinking about buying a wood frame house, especially if you're thinking about buying one here in Florida, you may have heard that wood frame houses are not as desirable and you shouldn't buy them versus a block home. I'm gonna dig into it. I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of both and then that way you can weigh your decision and kind of eliminate some of those myths that you might have been hearing. So let's get into it. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Connor Green. I'm a realtor here in Tampa Bay. And I hear this all the time. I hear people have preferences or they already have that, you know, preconception in their mind that, you know, I'm only gonna buy a wood frame home or I'm only gonna buy a block home. Uh, most of the time people aren't only wood frame, they're either wood frame and block or only block. And I see this a lot of times with investors too. So let's kind of go over the actual pros and cons of each and debunk some of those little myths so we can make sure you're really making the best decision for yourself. All right, so let's look at the pros and cons of wood frame homes first before we start talking about block homes. And I will start with the cons. So a lot of people see wood frame homes as needing more maintenance. And they say that because wood is more susceptible to water, which obviously there's a lot of water in Florida whether you're talking about rain, flooding, or the water table itself. And because it's more susceptible, it's more likely or easier to get damaged than block. Now, this is true, but it is true if you don't maintain the wood frame home itself in terms of paint and stucco and cracking. If you allow that water penetration, then yes, you know, wood can get damaged. It might be a little bit more susceptible to damage than block. But frankly, at the same time, if you allow water to penetrate anything, whether it's block or anything like that, water is the most damaging thing that you can allow into your home. So if it's block, it will cause some damage too, just probably not as much. Number two, higher insurance costs. Since wood frame homes on average cost more to maintain and there's more and higher claims in terms of against insurance for them, they are technically and usually higher in insurance costs than block homes. Number three, wood destroying organisms and termites. That is a huge issue here in Tampa Bay. And I wouldn't necessarily call it an issue, but more of a reality that just is what it is. But wood frame homes obviously have a lot more wood in them than block homes. And so you are more susceptible to, you know, termites and all that. That being said, it is very much a preventative and maintenance sort of item because so block homes can get termites as well. That's kind of a myth that they really can't and wood framing homes can, they both can. And so if you're keeping up with either of them, again, wood frame homes more likely, but they both still can get it. Number four is going to be more noise. Given the fact that a block home is going to be more dense in terms of materials, it's sort of that denseness of the material that blocks out noise. So wood frame homes is not going to be able to block out noise as good as a block home. All right, let's go into a few quick pros here. Wood frame homes on average are cheaper in terms of expenses because they are easier to build. They're easier with labor and resources. So on average, they cost less than a block home. Number two, they're easier to remodel because if you think of a concrete block and cutting into that and moving it and adding to it, not as easy as cutting, moving, and adding into wood. And number three, they are actually better insulation wise. Wood frame homes generally have a better thermal insulation than block homes. Obviously that's a generalization, but when we're just talking about the material. Wood has a better thermal capacity than block and concrete. Now on the flip side, let's take a look at block homes and let's start with the cons. Now on the flip side, let's take a look at block homes in case this is what you're thinking is going to be your sole focus and you're going to exclude those wood frame homes. And let's start with the cons of owning a block home versus a wood frame home. Number one, less thermal insulation. So similar to what I was just sort of talking about, block is going to be worse in terms of thermal insulation. So you could have maybe slightly higher energy bills than a wood frame home. But again, that is a generalization just based on the material, the level of insulation, and a bunch of other different factors in terms of the quality of the build also have a big impact on that, such as windows. But again, when we're just talking about materials, that is one con. Number two, the higher expense. So generally speaking, you are going to get less home. You're gonna get maybe less square footage or less upgrades. You're gonna be spending more money on the substance of the build, which is a block home, and not necessarily gonna be getting any more space for it. And then number three, remodeling and expansion, especially when it comes to plumbing. So like I was saying before, it is going to be a lot harder to cut block and expand in different areas than it is going to be to cut wood. So that is a con of owning a block home, but also, Oftentimes, especially in Florida, 
they actually, so the foundation of the property, which is usually a solid slab of concrete, they actually have the plumbing inside of that slab. And so if you have a leak or anything like that, it's in concrete and they're really not going to be able to jackhammer it up and, and try to you know solve it and stuff. So they kind of just have to cut off the water supply to that pipe in terms of where it's leaking and then just add a completely new pipe versus wood frame is generally a little bit easier to work with when it comes to stuff like that. All right, those are your cons. So now let's talk about the pros of owning a block home so we can kind of weigh that with the wood frame homes. Number one, they're durable and disaster proof. So not only are they more durable when it comes to higher winds and bigger storms, but also if it comes to water damage, concrete can dry out much better. And so it is more resistant to that. It's also more fire resistant as well. So you might have, again, lower insurance. Number two, better noise cancellation. So again, block is going to have that higher density of material. So it's gonna better to be able to cancel out noise. Number three, wood destroying organisms and termites. Again, there is going to be less wood in the entire composition of the build than a wood frame home because obviously the outside of the perimeter is block. So you're going to have a less likely chance of getting termites, but that doesn't mean you're not gonna get them. And then number four, they are a little bit less maintenance wise and because they're less maintenance wise and less likely to need maintenance, they also cost less insurance wise. So you're gonna be saving a little bit on insurance, paying a little bit more in utilities and stuff, again, generally speaking. So again, here's where you start to kind of weigh some of those pros and cons. So overall, at this point, if you're wondering, you know, wow, Connor, that kind of sounds like a little bit of a mixed bag when it comes to, you know, a wood frame versus a block home. It really doesn't make me feel like I need to buy a wood frame or need to buy a block home. I still feel a little bit confused. Well, that's because the reality is it's really up to your own personal preference. I've got plenty of buyers that I work with that only want to buy block homes and they don't want to look at wood frame homes. And I can't personally disagree with that because that's really their own preference. At the end of the day, there are so many other things that come into play when we're talking about homes in terms of windows, which are a massive expense and can dramatically affect, you know, how thermal insulated it is when we're talking about that thermal insulation. Or for example, when we're talking about cost, you know, there's other things that also play into cost. And so a wood frame home might be a much better deal in a certain area or a block home might be a much better deal in a certain area. So it's just not a one size fits all or a black and white thing. So if you have any questions about that, especially if it is a wood frame or block home in and around the Florida area. So if you have any questions about that, go ahead and drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make more videos just like this, super easy to understand and nice and straightforward. It also helps me know that you found this video valuable, so it encourages me to make more content like this for you. But that's it for me today, guys. So until next time, this is Connor Green. Have a blessed day.